Alrighty folks and welcome back. So in this video we're going to be talking about the different functions of MDT, MDT and basically doing them. This is going to be about a 5 to 10 minute video so strap in. So by flexing your K muscle it opens up your MDT. We're going to start here on the dashboard. That's most places where you start. Uh, you'll see yourself right here. This is where you can clock in, clock out. You can set your call sign, your radio or waypoint. We don't mess with that. I'm going to clock on duty just for the sake. Um, you can respond to calls by responding. It changes the numbers. That way other officers can tell if we have certain numbers of officers responding and you can detach from it. So make sure we can also attach hands, but we're not going to end up doing that. If we need to remove blips, that's also where it's located, but we're not going to worry too, too much about that. Um, this bulletin board here is for your command staff to put in here. Um, check. Check out new MDT training video that was posted. Boom. Just as simple as that. I left a video. People are start asking about that. Here's our warrants section. This is where our warrants, active warrants, are going to be. Dispatch is not being used at the moment. Profiles. This is the beginning format of any anyone in the city. It's, it, everybody has a profile. When you first start out, they're going to have a blank profile and you literally just add some minor stuff. In the instance of myself, I have created my profile. I have my picture as it's been added here. And once you get your fingerprint and you add it to a profile and you link it, it'll add all their import vehicles and their houses and tell you um, if they have a weapons, a driver's license or a business license. This is also the notes area within the profiles that we're going to end up using between EMS and PD and encompassing the DOJ system. It like if you're an officer and you wish to leave a note for another officer, we're going to use the section on the top. Create the line two lines down. If not, that's fine. EMS is going to put their medical history on that bottom line. They showed me that they will have some interest in that. To write your reports for your arrests. Currently that system resides within here under the incidents tab. You just click the big old check mark. Suspect's name is going to be myself, Mr. Mobster, charge, test. It already has the date already put in there. Summary, insert report summary here. Um, guide, there you go. Hostage name, if we have time to get that. I might have that changed out here to where it's like the number of hostages or whatever. Or we could just, if it doesn't apply, just remove it. Weapons, items confiscated. If you take anything, please note it down in here. Fine and sentence. Tags. So I haven't quite figured out the tags just just yet. Officers involved, you have to manually punch in their names until we get a roster running. Civilians involved, you can add anybody to this when you search it. Evidence, it asks for the URL. When you open up the MDT system and you come over here and we'll have a mugshot section down here under the records tab but also a evidence file system in this instance just like a mugshot you know you just copy the link bring it back and you literally just boop now it's in there you know that, that's just an example and in order to involve a criminal, because once again, this is this in this report does not have anyone linked to it, you have to search them up. Mr. Mob, Mobster. Oh, it's not wanting to search me. So if you go back to the profiles, once you're right here, just go ahead and copy their SIF ID. This is the number one best way to find somebody within the system as it's linked directly to their specific account. And it's only one SIV ID per person. It pulls them right up. In this instance, under profiles, you can search first name, last name, or both. And when you're doing the associates searching by their names, you can either do first or last or SIV ID. <clears throat> Fingerprints, once you put them and attach them to their file, you'll be able to search them in profiles. So criminals involved, Mr. Mobster, right click this section right here. So you have warrants, right? By clicking this warrant right here, Red to green, green means go. Under dashboard, there's now a warrant for me. You can just right click incident and view profile. It literally takes you right to it. There's my profile. And view incident. This is the exact incident that we had, test, test, test. This is a previous incident or an ID. <clears throat> 
So you just take that warrant off. You can, if you, let's say you, um, they have an active warrant and you get them and you process them, processed, guilty, take off warrant. Now, in order to add charges to your individual report, the system currently you have to right click this box right here, modify charges. You have all the different charges for everything and we've added some as well that will be coming out under your penal codes. But they're all kind of subsection by operating a vehicle, wildlife, public safety, health and morals, public order. It, it kind of separates them all. So basically the easiest way to do this, let's say I need to resisting arrest. It added it right here. And if I would need to remove it, I left clicked it to add it, right click it to remove it, left click, right click, left click, right click. So you just say you feel like, you know, government corruption, drug trafficking, you know, let's just add all these charges. And you flex your escape muscle. It added all these charges and it's recommended fine and sentence. That's what the current system that's in place, this time and sentence are not up to date. So make sure to pay attention to your penal codes for your charges. And then once you get that recommended time and sentence, you put in the fine that you want to actually give them, which in this case, I'll give myself $10,000 fine and uh, 60 months because that's maxed and then update it in here for what they actually did. Yes, you'll have to type it twice. I appreciate you for doing that. And then you just click save, boop. And then you can just go back to incidents. Oop. And there I am. Everything is there. It's associated. And it's really that simple. You can add as many people as you want. This is not restricted to a single person or multiple. You sell. All you need is their citizen ID, which you can find easily in profiles. Reports tab, we're not using. Uh, we tried some testing on this and we can try some more down the line, but it's not as involved as the incidents tabs, which will allow us to write our reports in detail and depth. Bolo, we have our warrants tab in the very front on the dashboard, so reports in Bolo, there's nothing there. You, there's no way for these to you know, work. Roster is not functioning yet. We are working on getting that functioning, so we have an active roster. Vehicles. When you add or create a profile for somebody or when somebody is first being arrested and you add their fingerprint, it automatically pulls all their imports. So if you run somebody's license plate here, just like your phone, it'll pull up some information. You can take a picture if you like and put it in here for what it looks like and all kinds of things. It's pretty cool. Your camera section for all the different places within the cities for all the different robberies is accessed here. You just simply click on them and then escape. Staff logs doesn't really do anything so you don't got a reason to be in there but right here is the section that which is going to be where we're going to be putting some patrol announcements to some degree when it comes from state command for different trainings updates and things like that so yeah this has been chief bart it's been a pleasure and let's go kick some butt